Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Like, all right. The deal breaker. See, I need y'all to understand something. There's certain things that I'm not going to tolerate when it comes to people. Zip with the drip. Mr. Zip with the drip. He put up a video, right? For those of y'all that don't know who Zip is, y'all nobody don't nobody know who Zip is. You're still a little dude. You're still a little dude. You got a little bit of a spark that I gave you. I made you hot. Let's get to that. I made that saying hot. Not you. I got everybody saying, let's get to that. 050 and everybody else. Not you. I made you. Why would I play you? In all actuality, you played yourself. See me, I'm a grown man, right? I'm a grown man in my 40s. I have daughters. And when you get on the internet and I'm quoting you, don't call me unk, don't call me big homie. Because the same chicks that you smashing, I'm going to be smashing them. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be smashing them same chicks too. That's what you say. Now, let's get to the meat and bones of this. You told the little homies in the street not to call you big homie or big unk. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to be smashing the same chicks as them. And then you even went on to say that you ain't trying to smash these old chicks that's been ran through. He love, we love, bring it back, come rewind. You ain't trying to smash them old chicks that's been ran through. You mean like Ashanti? Those hips, those thighs, I love it when you kiss me, babe. You mean Maya? Right. Because basically what you're saying is, is that black women in their 40s and their upper 30s that's eligible to deal with you and date you or ran through. As if the young girls ain't out there smashing 15 and 20 dudes at, at one time. So what it is with you is we're going to break this down to the nitty gritty, right? I'm not going to sit up there and talk about the fact that you had beef with Blue Boy. I had beef with Pistol Pete. Blue Boy made you put, Blue Boy put a, a knife on a cell and told you, I dare you to come out that cell. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. You ever heard that song? Ooh. Let's get it on. You didn't get it on. I'm not taking that route. Fuck all the tough, fuck all the tough, the, the tough talk. We ain't going that route. We grown men. We grown men. I could rip you to shreds off of your character. Grown ass man in his 40s trying to live his second, your, your second childhood. Because you went to jail. And did 18 years in jail. You think that you could just come home, right? And start sleeping with the teeny boppers? Not on my watch. I got daughters. And this video right here is for the fathers with daughters. You know, like that nice song to my fathers with daughters. First and foremost, right? The only females that would date your old ass is females that got daddy issues. That ain't got no father. That got broken homes. Zip, let me ask you a question. Who do you think going to let you walk around at 40 something years old with a 20 year old daughter? Because this is what my beef is about. All that other nonsense you talking about. Who do you think? A dude like me? You think that you're going to walk around with my 20 year old daughter? Any dude that I know that's a real father. That get busy. They not going to let you walk around with their daughter. At 20 years old and you 40. It's not happening. So you the type of dude that'll get with them young girls. And it, it caused them to have a fallout with their fathers, with their family. Because once little girls start smashing niggas like you, they break up with they, they start beefing with their mother. They can't bring you home. Because her mother gonna wanna know why is an old dude like you laying on top of their baby. 
Yeah, this is what this is about. You dudes that's watching me out there, are you feeling me? Are you are the fathers out there feeling me? All that slick talk, I didn't even watch your, your, your three-hour video. I don't care about anything and everything you got to say. What I care about is, is you're disgusting. What mother or father is going to let you walk through their door talking about you sleeping with their daughter and you 40-something years old and they 20s. You told the young boys, don't call you big homie because chances are I'm going to be smashing the same females as you. You turned my stomach when you said that and I didn't mention your name. But being that you saying my name, I'm going to say it. And I'm going to make this clear and I'm not going back and forth with you. All the slick talking that you talk, nigga, before I took my videos down, I had over a billion views. Got some of the hottest interviews on academics platform, math hopper platforms, or uh, Tasha K's platforms, all of the big platforms that, that, that all the heavy hitters. You ain't on nobody's platform. You ain't on nobody's A-lister. If my channel fell off 10 times, I'll still be bigger than you. Want to live your life? Why would I want to live your life? Why would I want to be living in somebody's couch or somebody? Why would I? Why would I want to? Why? Man, we're not even going into that. We're not going to go left. We're going to stick to the topics. Bottom line to it is, most fathers, real fathers. Most uncles, real uncles hate dudes like you. Most fathers, most uncles hate dudes like you. You could not come to the family barbecues, but that's why you said don't invite me to no barbecues. I bet you don't want to go to the barbecues because you one of the niggas that nobody don't like that's a real father, that's a real uncle. You one of them dudes that you're not hanging out with dudes your age. You trying to be around them young boys and use their energy. Not on my watch. Any man with daughters who love their daughters would never, ever let you lay down with their daughters. Stop making excuses about, oh, all the older women are ran through. That's bullshit. Older women would not play with a nigga like you because you ain't got your life together. Don't nobody want to bring home a nigga to their family that just did 18 years in jail. This shit is embarrassing. Don't nobody want to be running around with a nigga with an ankle bracelet on. This shit is embarrassing. Nigga, you in your 40s. You are a senior citizen. Talking about sleeping with the babies. That shit ain't cool. It is what it is, man. I'm not going back and forth with you. You can never be me. And it ain't about... It ain't, <laughs> what AZ said? Fuck who's the baddest. A person's status depends on salary. Nigga, you ain't never copped a house. And as a matter of fact, when I turn this YouTube switch back on, when I'm about, I'm about to turn it right back on, and I'm, I'm, yo, I swear to God, I'm gonna make you watch me make make a million dollars. Let's get to that. Cause if you ain't talking about dollars, you ain't talking about shit. Don't nobody want to kill, no, but nobody want to hear nothing about the highlights of you being in the penitentiary. Because the highlights of you being in the penitentiary told everybody that you pick and you choose your battles. When Blue Boy put that knife on your cell, you stayed inside, locked the cell door. I ain't coming out. You ain't want none of that smoke. I ain't never had a nigga put a knife on my cell and said, let's get to that. You didn't get to that. That means you pick and choose your battles. I smell, that's it, bottom line to that All that other shit going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth I don't care about none of that I don't like niggas that like little girls I don't like niggas that like little girls Jay-Z got with Beyonce, she was young, but he married her I understand that Dave Dash got with Aaliyah, but he married her, that was his girl, I understand that You running around telling these young boys I'm gonna be smashing the same chicks that y'all smashing You're nasty and that says a lot about you. I want all the men and the woman in the comment section that's watching this video. Talk to me in the comment section. Talk to Zip in the comment section. Tell him exactly what y'all feel in the comment section about grown men who want to lay down with teeny boppers. See, when we young, matter of fact, Zip, you know what you the type of dude. You the type of dude, man. You was the dude that hung out in front of the high schools. 
You was the 30 year old dude, even though you was in jail. You the 30 year old dude that was hanging out in front of the high schools, getting all the freshman girls. When the dudes that was in the ninth grade, they couldn't they couldn't sleep with the the ninth grader girls. They couldn't have no girlfriends because you old dudes kept going kept coming to the school and snatching the young girls up. That's you. You the old head that see the young girl walking in the building and tell her, mm -mm -mm, when you get a certain age, you gonna be mine. You a creep. It is what it is, man. I don't even know if I could tell you to hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. But I am going to tell you, pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. And all you fathers out there, protect your daughters, man. Make sure you tell your daughters to stay away from dudes like him. Who the hell want their child to give, to, give, to give birth to their grandchild with a nigga like you? Who?